Over the last 10 years, it's been inspiring to see successful community spaces develop, in many cases in neglected public open space. When we look around a community garden, we can see the love that goes into these spaces and it's such a great way to connect a community. I always say gardening is about people. Sure, plants are a major part of gardening, but the connections created and friendships formed last a lifetime. If you know of a community garden in your area, head on down and check it out. There are many great ideas for new gardening practices, the use of recycled product and helping the environment in your own backyard. Who knows, you may end up with your own plot to grow your own beautiful plants. But one thing you'll notice when it comes to community gardens is the reluctance to use harmful chemicals. Now that's where we all should be in our own gardens. And that's regardless of whether the community garden has a focus on the environment or edible plants. Gardening is also about soil. Focus on the soil and getting it right, then the results speak for themselves. While natives will cope with poor soil, they'll thrive in good soil. Kangaroo paws are the perfect addition because they're going to flower right through spring and summer, ideal for community gardens, because these guys attract the honey eaters, which like the nectar in these flowers, but also eat all the insects on the veggies. When it comes to growing veggies, the best way to minimise insect attack is to grow strong, healthy plants. And this inbuilt resistance comes from really healthy soil. Now, Seesaw have built their reputation on improving soil health, and their latest release is no different. Seesaw Biochar with Zeolite contains a mixture of biocharcoal, zeolite, sea salt, and paramagnetic rock minerals to improve soil structure. Let me break it down so the science is easy to understand. Biocharcoal is a natural way of boosting organic matter and carbon content in the soil, and it increases the water holding capacity. Zeolite attracts and retains nutrients, so minimises leaching of nutrients in sandy soil and then releases nutrients as the plant needs them. In the case of veggies, it's all the time. The rock minerals release nutrients slowly over time and the added sea salt builds up a plant's resistance to disease, which results in a strong, healthy root system and plants that are not stressed. Don't just stop at the veggies. Sea salt biochar can be applied to established lawns and garden beds at any time of the year or mixed with potting mix for pots or planters. It's also perfect to use on native plants, even grevilleas. They are the most sensitive to fertilisers and soil improvers and the easiest to kill when we don't get it right. But when we get it right, well, the results speak for themselves. Flowers and food as far as the eye can see.